little nervous. I hadn't been on Kelly's Chick since my state finals, which was the second week in June. So my mom ran her at Cheyenne yesterday and had an okay run. It wasn't great. So going into it, I was like, let's just be solid. And I got around my third barrel and I was like, okay, then handy barrels were good. And so when I saw my time, I was really happy. I was third in the first go round, so it's based on an average here, so I just want to be solid, have another solid run, and hopefully get in the top 20 to come back Saturday night. Um, yeah, I, I think me and my mom ride a lot alike. I think all of us girls ride a lot alike. Um, she, mom doesn't really kick her as much as me and Kaylin do, but we, we all ride her pretty much the same. So we will leave early in the morning to drive my mom and Sky, Kelly's chick, to uh, Nampa for the pro rodeo there for mom to run her there and then we'll come back here for hopefully me to run Saturday night. This has been incredible. I'm so proud of both of my girls. They've accomplished so much with me being on the road full time. It's kind of hard but I, if we drew great here and I'm able to get here and be with her. Um, I was so happy to be here this morning, and she actually, in my opinion, rides her better than I do, so <laughs> she deserves all this, and with them going with me to Napa tomorrow, they actually give me more confidence, so I'm just tickled and so proud and so excited to be here and watching her do this and having Caitlin here as well and all of us being able to go to Napa. Caitlin, my sister, and I, we stay home a lot, and we do the colts, and we go the jackpots, and mom kind of goes out on the road, but I'm glad we finally got to meet her here. It all kind of worked out, so it was really good. Yes, it's been crazy. We left the house middle of June. Um, we've been all over the states. Um, had a few bad lucks. Um, I ran a Greeley, left in the middle of the night to try to make Red Lodge. We hit a deer, so that put us out for a little bit. We've had tons of people help us. I can't even say how thankful I am for the family, the rodeo family, but I, I've been grabbing some checks, winning some money, went up to Calgary for my first time, won a couple rounds, and then unfortunately Slick, Slick got some sort of virus and got sick. So we've had to change again, and that's why I'm down here, and I was able to grab uh, Kelly's chick and run her at Cheyenne yesterday. Kind of didn't go as we planned, but a little bit might have been. I was so tired from flying and sleeping in the airport the night before. There were no rooms available. And now I'm here with Lindsay and Caitlin, and I'm rejuvenated and ready to go back out again. So I'm excited that they get to go with me for a few days, and then we'll have to separate, and I'll go on my own again. They'll head home in, a, in another few days and I may be able to go home for a little bit and then reevaluate when Slick will come back out and then we'll go again. But in the meantime, I'll be riding um, Kelly's chick. Yes, I do. I just got off the phone with the veterinarian in Canada. He's doing really well. We'll be released to start being hauled back to the States. We're going to take it slow, only a few hours a day hauling him back trying to get him back to Denver to see his regular vet, Dr. Carter. So we're all excited. Everything looks great, and we're just going to take it slow with him. It is my senior year. I just graduated. It was the first time I had ever even gotten, well, I won state, but it was the first time I even qualified for nationals. So it, it's all unbelievable, and I couldn't be more thankful. School. I started school August 17th. Um, I, I'm going to go to Tarleton State University in Stephenville and I plan to call rodeo for them.